So I'm in Visual Studio 2022. Uh, and if you haven't signed into your Microsoft account, you are going to want to do that uh, using your NMC email. And then I'm just going to show you how to push a project to GitHub as a new repository. And then I will show you how to push changes to that repository. So I'm just going to create a new project. And I'm just gonna do an MVC project right out of the box. And it's C-sharp. And I'm going to call this GitHub test. And I'm going to put my solution in the same directory as my project. And you will notice that it is going into uh, my C drive under users, my computer name, source, and repos. Uh, for this MVC app, I'm going to use .NET Core 3.1. That is correct. I'm just going to keep it simple, so I'm not going to do authentication. I'm just going to click on Create. And I'm going to pause while it's creating all its files. Oh, well, that was quick. <laughs> I don't need to pause. <laughs> Glad it's sped up a little bit. Uh, so uh, what I need to do... is go into the Git menu. And actually, I'm gonna go into Git changes here. So you should have a Git changes tab automatically. Shouldn't have to do anything special to get that. Should be right next to your solution explorer. And down here, yours probably says new repo, but what you're going to want to do is click on that arrow. And then we're going to click on this ellipsis and we're going to choose create a Git repository. Now there's a couple things that's important for you to do in here. Uh, first, you have to change the local path because it is not looking at your project. So you're gonna click on the ellipsis and you're gonna make sure that it you have the correct folder selected here. Okay, so now it is looking in the correct spot. The second thing you need to do is make sure that you're connected to your GitHub. It probably says account. Okay, so you are going to need to do the connection. Okay, and so click on that. And what I did before I clicked on that is I actually logged into my GitHub. Okay, and I pulled up my repositories because I'm going to need to check to make sure that this repository that I'm going to put uh, or try to push to GitHub shows up here. So I went ahead and logged in. And then what happens when you click on account is it makes that connection and it's gonna throw you out here into your default web browser and it'll indicate if it's successful or not. So if you've already logged in, you shouldn't have to do any logging in. If you haven't logged in, it's probably going to ask you to. Uh, but what you should see is this owner with your GitHub username filled in. And then below that, you need to enter the repository name. And I'm just going to make it the same as the project name. So I'm going to call it GitHub test. And when you're submitting things for me, they cannot be private. If it's private, I can't see it. So make sure that you remove the check. 
and then put a little description in here. So I'm just going to say testing GitHub in VS 2022. Oops. Okay. And so now I filled all of this in. I'm connected to my GitHub. I'm looking at the correct repository on my drive. So I'm going to create and push. All right, and it does look like that worked. So let me come over here and refresh. Here it is. And I do have all of the files and folders that I need. So now let's make a change. I'm gonna go into the Solution Explorer. Go into views and home, and I'm just going to copy the index. And I'm going to paste it right on home. And I'm just going to modify the name a little bit. We'll call it testing git. Okay. And so I've made a change. And now I would like to get that up on GitHub. So if I come over to Git Changes, under Changes, you'll see that it, it did recognize that I made a change, okay? And so what I need to do is stage it. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign. So now it's staged. I'm gonna put in a little message, uh, added testing Git to home view. Now, if I just commit the staged, it commits it locally, but it does not push it to GitHub. If I want this change to go to GitHub, then I have to click on the arrow and choose commit staged and push. Okay, but for right now, I'm just going to commit it. So this is committed locally and it tells you that right here. So what that means is if I go out here and I look in my view and home, I don't see my new one. Okay, so now I'm gonna make another change. And sometimes people like to make all of their changes and then commit and push everything all at once. Other people like to commit and push as they go. So this kind of is, you know, your workflow and what you want to do. So I'm going to go into the controller. I'm going to copy my little index action method here. Paste, and then I'm going to make this action method name match testing git. Okay, so now I've made a change to the controller. And we'll save everything. And I'll go over to git changes. So now it recognized that change. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stage this. And I'm going to give it a little message. Um, I'm going to say changed home controller. And now I'm going to go ahead, commit staged and push. All right, so now it doesn't say that it's local anymore. And that means that the changes should be up here on GitHub. So I'm going to go back to Git, GitHub test. And I can already see those comments that I put in are there. And then if I go in and I look in my home folder, I can see testing Git. And then if I go into my controller and I actually look at the controller, I can see that new action method.
So hopefully this will work for you and you will not have any problems getting things onto GitHub.